check this out. <clears throat> check this out. Check this out. If you have never had a 10 in your life, chances are you are powerless to a woman that beautiful. You are powerless to the manipulation that she can wield over you if she so decided. A lot of y'all men walk around with this attitude of, I want a bad chick. I want the baddest chick I can get, which rightly so, bro, you want the baddest thing you can get your hands on. And a lot of us want these bad women. But have you ever been tried and tested? Have you ever been tested with a woman that fine? Have you ever had a woman that beautiful? Have you ever slept with a woman that looked that good? You ever did for, cared for, spoiled a woman that beautiful? And if you haven't, bro, you in for a world of hurt and you in for a world of mess that you finna put yourself in because you ain't never had a woman that looked that good. You ain't never had a woman lay up on you like that that looked like she looked. Know your weakness. Know what you susceptible to because I guarantee you, boy, boy, I done been there. Boy, I done been there. Boy, I done had some women, boy, take me down through there. Had me messed up. Had me looking for a in the day with a flashlight because that woman was so fine I felt like she belonged to me and I can't let this go boy whoo you in for a world of hurt this is a little PSA for y'all be well whether you ready for a 10 or not know whether you ready for a 10 or not and you better know your weaknesses bro because if you have never had a woman that beautiful you better go out here and try to sleep with a bunch of them first talk to nothing but 10s for a whole year first two three years really because a woman is a man's biggest weakness. So I say spend about two, three years hollering at nothing but tens, nothing but eights, nines, and tens. Get as many as you can, sleep with as many as you can before you try to date and be in a relationship with a woman that's a 10. Because I guarantee you, boy, I guarantee you, she ain't gonna take you down through there. You gonna take yourself down through there. Worried about her and running behind her. Get your mind right, because I promise you, Boy, ain't nothing like having a 10 and they look good on your arm and you want to make a family and make her your wife and you want to be with her and you want to do everything for this woman and you want to make her number one. But guarantee when you get you a 10, you ain't going to think about none of the characteristics of what a woman needs to be in your household. Because like I said, it's a simp born every day. So most of y'all ain't even prepared to have a woman that fine on your arm. Most of y'all ain't prepared to have a woman that look that good. Y'all just want it because it look good. But is you ready for that? Because a lot of women, that's the reason why beautiful women really don't get y'all the time of day. Because they can tell by the way y'all be looking at them, the way you be acting around her, the way you so nice and caring and kind about her. Not in a nice, kind way, in more of a pedestalizing way where you set her apart from all the other women around. You're going to do any and everything for her. And she could tell, well, I got him. He him pick. I could take that boy up and down the damn block because he gonna do whatever I say do. And y'all show it. I be seeing how some of y'all move around these women. Boy, you'll do anything a woman tell you to do. You'll put up with anything she throw at you because you ain't never had a dime. You ain't never had a 10. You ain't never had a bad chick. You ain't never been through nothing before. So whatever she throw at you, you gonna take it. You ain't got a lot of me. You ain't got a lot of your friends. You got a lot of nobody, nobody else. You ain't got to even lie to yourself. Tell the truth, bro. It's some women out here run circles around y'all. It's a woman right now running circles around you. It's a woman in a corner store, work at Walmart. It's a woman work somewhere uh, somewhere around you that live across the street from you. Boy, you do anything for her. She pull up with them groceries, boy, you right out there picking up them groceries, doing everything for her. And you ain't doing it out of genuineness. You're doing it because you weak for her, boy. Know whether you weak. Know your limits. And if you know you'll do anything for a woman just based off of the fact that you pedestalize her, go get you something that you can handle. You can't handle no, you can't handle no time. You can't handle no dime. You can't handle no tent. Get your shit together, bro. Know your limits. Know your weakness.